Cindy Johnston remembers the day like it was yesterday. As a head nurse, she was approached about volunteering for a new procedure called Heart Score, a cardiac scan that detects the likelihood of a future heart attack. Cindy thought it was a great idea, but she had a different candidate in mind. Her husband, Jim. He was at home working in the garage, and I called him and told him to get himself up here. And he says, I don't need to have that done. I've never had a chest pain. No, no, no. And I said, yes, yes, yes. I said, I don't have time. Uh, and, and I was getting ready to leave town for a week. And she, uh, in her own way, insisted. <laughs> so uh, I, to appease her, I went. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Johnston. My name is Hope. Would you go ahead and have a seat? I'll explain this test to you. Even though Jim had a family history of heart disease, showed signs of mild hypertension, and was a heavy smoker, there were no indications that anything was wrong. Cindy thought he was the perfect candidate for the procedure. And to Jim's surprise, the test took only 10 minutes. It is so simple. You go in, you lay down, and they put five leads on you as if you were having an EKG. And you lay there. They run you inside this big donut looking machine. All right, Mr. Johnston, go ahead and take in a breath and hold it. It's more powerful than any tool we've had ever, including all the special cholesterol tests we've, we've ever developed. There's no IV blood draw, there's no, no stick, there's no needle. It involves picture taking rather than blood analysis or urine analysis. The test itself actually detects calcium, which gets deposited within plaques which build up in the coronary arteries. The higher your score, the more likely you are to have a suspect heart attack. A score of zero is ideal. 11 to 100 indicates a moderate risk of a future heart attack. The news for Jim wasn't good. My score was 1,200, the highest they had done in two days of training people. And the next step was a cardiac catheterization to actually see exactly what was going on by injecting, you know, dye into the arteries. So they did that, and when they came out, they said, oh, yes, he's got very significant blockage, and he needs to go see the doctor soon. And we did, within a week or 10 days, he was operated on and did great. It's quick, easy, non-invasive. But is the test right for you? It could be considered for any adult who has at least one risk factor for heart disease, smoking history, family history of heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. The question that would then follow is, if you have a healthy 50-year-old female or male who has no risk factors, is this test worthwhile for them? I actually think that the data is beginning to say yes. Jim and Cindy know that firsthand. For them, the benefits of spending just minutes with this medical marvel are now lasting a lifetime. I'm very grateful. There's no doubt in my mind he wouldn't be around today had it not been done. I feel very, very fortunate that I did marry a nurse uh, and that she was so persistent and insistent on me having the test. You know, it's due to her that I'm still around today. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.